right, so the problem must be in one of these two boards. Uh, this is the uh, 4 megahertz uh, temperature controlled oscillator. And I believe this board is, well, at least the oscillator is oscillating and stuff. I'll check that out. Um, getting a 1 megahertz clock somewhere here gets divided down. Um, looking at this board, uh, when I pulled it out, I noticed one of the uh, one of the ICs was very hot. And I did take a thermal picture of it, uh, and it's definitely this this IC that was that was super hot, like 105 C. I mean, it was <laughs> it was cooking. Um, so you know, these are all ECL parts, really old vintage, probably really hard to find. I don't know, maybe not. Um, but uh, I figured I'd start looking at the schematics. So let's see if I have enough room here. Um, so the schematics are all on one page. Come on. Uh, yeah, it's all on one page. Is that maybe I should turn the camera down a bit. Um, so there's an input, goes into a FET, uh, then it goes into an amplifier, a differential amplifier, and that those 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 two signals up down do a kind of a flip floppy thing and then inserts into a counter and stuff. Uh, there are separate boards. This is the front board right here. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, this is the uh, this this board here, and uh, the time based board is down here. And then the big big board on the top is here. I think it's okay. It's just a display driver. It might, it might be damaged too. I don't know yet. Power supply seems okay now. Um, so, um, I was looking for which I see that was, that was hot and looking around the schematic and uh, then it dawned on me there was something not right. Um, so if you look at this board, um, there's this one unusual IC here, and it's uh, IC 401. And if you read the part number, it's a, an op amp. It's a, it's a 741 op amp. And I go, well, what's an op amp doing on this board, right? It must have something to do with the front end circuitry, maybe some offset or something. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, and so I said, okay, well, let me figure out what that op amp's doing, because it just was curious. So I took a look at the uh, schematic. And uh, there's no op amp in this schematic. And I thought, okay. So even though the part number for the counter is correct, this section is not the board that's in there. And so I went online and uh, there is a 1103 counter. Uh, I couldn't find any schematics for the 1102. It's good that he had the uh, book. Um, so I couldn't find any other schematics that might have the op amp, but the 1103 does have an op amp in the, um, in the front end. And it's described as being an offset or a trigger level offset for the Schmidt trigger. It, it looks at the output and it takes some type of average, feeds that around to the input, and it keeps the thing right in the middle. So I figured, oh great, uh, they must have just upgraded it at one time and they used the same board. And so uh, this is my this is my board. And here's the uh, layout of the 1103 board. And here's IC104. Hey, that's the uh, that's the 70, 741. Hey, great! I've got I've got the right schematic. And then I started looking, and I went, oh, oh wait a minute! This one has one, two, three, four, five ICs, and mine has one, two, three, four. Uh oh. So uh, yeah, so this board is an outlier. Uh, it's somewhere between the two. It obviously has maybe some of the ideas that they finally ended up with, but they've redesigned it when they went to the 103. So this board is somewhere between. So if anybody has the schematics for a 85-1307-3, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you would send it your way. 
So now I'm really, really confused. Um, I know I have a dead IC and um, I don't have a schematic. And so I know that this section has been redesigned. That section has five ACs, this one has four ACs. And so now I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna have to reverse engineer it, I guess. And then it, I remembered um, the emails exchange, exchange that I had with the, uh, with the fellow who donated it said something and I had kind of put it out of my mind saying, oh, I'll go back to his email if once I get the thing in my hand. Well, it's in my hand now. So I went back and I, I read his emails and he said that the all zeros and not counting symptom was described on a, a, a board and he, a, 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 an internet board. And he read that and they said, oh, I had to replace IC103 a 403 and then everything got better. So he replaced IC 403. Hmm. Suspicious. It's the same IC that that's cooked and that's the one that he replaced. Now what I believe he did was he used the um, documentation he had, looked up IC 403, bought a replacement, shoved it in, but he thought it matched the schematics <laughs> and it's not, it's a different board. So this, this, this I see, um, should not be in the board. It's probably the wrong one. And anyway, it's dead anyway. Uh, so he did supply me, he did supply me with the, with the chip that he pulled out. So I'm wondering is maybe this chip is still okay. Maybe he replaced it for no good reason. Um, that it could be just these power supply issues that I found that he didn't know about. And maybe this IC is still good. So I'm going to pop it back in. Oops. These are not the best sockets in the world. Yeah, these pins aren't aren't really bent, aren't really bent correctly. So I'm going to bend them correctly. All right. All right. Yeah, these are terrible sockets that are being used. There we go. Let me make sure that's incorrectly. Uh, looking on the bottom of the board too, there's a solder bridge here that is suspicious to me. I don't think that solder bridge is supposed to be there. Um, so I need to check. I don't have a schematic, right? So I don't know if that's really supposed to be there or not supposed to be there, but it looks unusual. Uh, I just don't think that should be there. Now, could be an addendum. Could be that you're supposed to do that. Maybe the PC board was wrong. Um, the the uh, fact is that I don't know if this machine ever worked ever, right? Somebody may have built it and never got it to work and uh, just gave up on it because they didn't have the skill set or whatever. Um, but that, that just looks bad. Um, it might be okay. Yeah, it might be okay. It's on pin one. Yeah, maybe it's okay. I'm thinking about it now. Uh, 
Oh, I take it back. I take it back. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. All right. So I'm going to put this old IC back in there, pop it in, and uh, see what kind of symptom we have. Ah, looked a little different. Let me uh, get some frequency to input. Oh, look at that. It works. It works. I'm putting in one kilohertz and it says one kilohertz. <laughs> oh, excellent. It's certainly good. He saved that IC and shipped it to me. Wow. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Let me give you a better view. Lovely, lovely. Let me put in a frequency here. Let's uh, enter a number. 1.2345, oops, 56789. Uh, oh, that didn't work. I'm sorry. I didn't hit the right buttons. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Enter one point, oops, enter number one. 0.2345 kilohertz. 1.235. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Megahertz. Yeah. Kilohertz. So we can put in maybe enter number. 1234.56789 kilohertz. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. It's working. It's working. Yay.